Hello and welcome back. Uh, today we are going to be finishing out the Sonata in C Major by Breval. Uh, we're going to be working on the last page, and this will finish out the Sonata. So, um, not really much in the way of new stuff. Uh, we've got about two-thirds of a page of new stuff, and then we go back into what we've already covered uh, in the Rondo Grazioso. And... Yeah, there's not really much out of the ordinary, out of the out of the new. There are some interesting sharps, and there are a couple of places um, right around measure 104 where you've got some interesting. Uh, you play it natural and then play it sharp, and then you go back to a natural, um, which interfaces really really well with a piano accompaniment. Uh, unfortunately, we do not have that available right now, but you can find recordings. Um, that you can play along with and, and work with. So, um, let's go ahead and take it from the top. Um, we're going to do one, two, three, four. So it'll be 66 through 70, which will outline uh, the beginning of what we're going to be doing. Uh, so that's going to sound like this. So we've, we've got that uh, figure that is going to be figuring prominently. Uh, you will play that in fifth position, so shifted, um, and it's just follow the fingerings. Uh, in the tail end of measure 67, you'll be shifting back to first position. Um, and then in 60, 69, uh, we will be doing a half shift uh, to get up to where we can hit that E with a four. So let's go ahead and do, let's go ahead and do 66 through 68. So go ahead and join me. Let me double check the... Okay, so we're not gonna be going quite that fast. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, go ahead and join me. One, two, three, four, five, six. more time and then we'll move on. It's breaking it down into these these little chunks is going to be relatively simple and then you can see what we have and then what we have that is slightly different and then move forward from there. So one last time before we move on. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, moving on from there we have have that uh, we're first finger on the B and then first finger on the C so it's just a half step so let's work on that really quick uh, we'll just do one two and then one one so it'll be Ahead and join me. We'll do that three or four times. Um, one, uh, just yeah. Well, we're not even counting. So go ahead and join me. So that'll get you into that shift, um, and then it'll just be a simple one, two, four. So we'll do 66, 67, 68, 69, and uh, 69, 70, 71. So 69 through 71. Go ahead and join me. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, 
Again. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> One last time and then we'll move on. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then we're back in first position. My snaps keep rattling against the back of my cello. I'm not sure that I like that. Um, pardon me. Okay, um, so from there, Let's go ahead and do 66 through where we ended. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, and then 72 through. Let's just do 72 through 77. Yeah, that should work. Uh, 72 through 77 is gonna sound like this. Um, so we do have in 74, we have an F sharp and a G sharp, so that will be a one, uh, let's do a one, two, four, extended to extended four, um, so that we can hit that. Uh, let's do 74 just by itself really quick. One, two, three, four, five, six. Again, one, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then this uh, particular figure will come in at 73, 74, 75, 76 again. So let's go ahead and tie that into 72. And then we'll play through 75. So 72 through 75. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, oh, scratch that. Uh, 72 through 75. One, two, three, four, five, six. Uh, one more time, and then we'll tie that entire ending together and then that entire chunk together. 72 through 75. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then we'll go ahead and finish that out. It's the exact same thing uh, for 76 and 77. We've seen this before from uh, two measures ago for 76, and then 77 we've seen on the preceding page. Uh, so it sounds like this. So let's do those two measures together, 76 and 77. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. And then let's go ahead and tie that back to 72. Uh, through 76, no, 72 through 77, my apologies. 72 through 77, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, and then 66 through 77. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more time and then we'll move on. Uh, 66 through 77. 
one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> You do have a B flat there, so that will be a low one. Uh, so go ahead and join me on 78 through 81. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> So 82 through 85 is going to sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So go ahead and join me for that. Uh, it is a, those sixteenths are just going to be a nice regular run up with a low one on the A. Um, and it just drives right back to that D on the A string. Um, so go ahead and join me. Uh, we're going to be starting on a down bow in 82. Go ahead and join me. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. So that is going to uh, that run is definitely going to be an up bow. Um, it just it works so well. Um, let's do that one more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Uh, moving on. In 86, uh, 86 through 89 is going to sound like this. It's kind of an interesting quasi bird call. Um, so let's go ahead and do that a couple of times. Uh, 86 through 89. Yeah, 86 through 89. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, uh, let's go ahead and do it again. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's go ahead and tie that back into everything else we've done. Uh, let's take it back to 78. So 78 through 89. One, two, three, four, five, six. Let's go ahead and tie that back into 66 to 90 or 66 to 89. One, two, three, four, five, six. Thank you. 
90 and 91. Let's do 96, 95, 94. Let's do 90 through 94. No, let's do 90 through 93. That'll be a four measure bar. This one's going to be a simple rundown. Uh, you have B flats in that entire thing, and then we have an arpeggio up, and then we have uh, stepwise motion down, stepwise motion up. Uh, so it'll sound like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, Okay, so I played 90 through 94, my apologies. Um, go ahead and join me, 90 through 93. Uh, we will leave off the resolution there and then get into that here in a second. So, 90 through 93. So it'll be one and two and three and four and five and six and one, two, three, four, five, six, one, da, 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 for your sixteenths. One, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One last time for good luck. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, let's go ahead and tie that back into 81 and you get the same place. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six. time starting from there and then we'll tie the rest back in. One, two, three, four, five, six. Back to 66, still at the same ending place. One, two, three, four, five, six. going to have kind of the same thing that we've played before. Um, it'll be slightly different because we're going up and then we're going down and then we're going up and then we're going down as opposed to like 27 and 33 on the previous page where it's up with a little down and then up with a little down and then up with a little down and then starting higher each time. So this is what that's going to sound like. We're, we're 
we're starting to see chunks reused um, four, six, eight measures on. So go ahead and join me. Uh, we'll do 94 through 96, 97, 98, 99. So 94 through 99. And the, the runs really aren't that scary. Actually, let's just let's just do those really quick. Uh, so this will be 95, 96, and 97. So we'll take it slow. Um, one and two and three and four and uh, yeah, I'll just count in from uh, four. Four and five and six and my apologies. I played the eighth notes as, or I played the eighth notes as sixteenths, but uh, you get the general feel of it. Let's go ahead and do that one more time, nice and slow, and then we'll speed it up. Four and five and six and okay. Let's go ahead and take that a little bit faster. Four and five and six and One more time at that speed. Four and five and six and. Okay, and then let's go ahead and take it at full, or let's go ahead and take it at our practice speed. So, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. One more time. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. One more time for good measure. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and finish that out um, because we're seeing a repeat in measure 96, 97. Uh, measure 98 is basically the exact as measure 92. Uh, so we'll go ahead and uh, do those runs and then incorporate in 98 and 99. So those runs with 98 and 99, so the next two measures after. One, uh, one, two, three, four, five, six. We've seen that part before. Uh, let's go ahead and tie back in. Uh, we will move back to 82. So 82 through 99. One, two, three, four, five, six. back to 66 and we'll tie everything together and then move forward. One, two, three, four, five, six. 
the next four bar chunk starting at 100 uh, tell you what why don't we actually go 101 102 let's work around work on 103 and 104 and 105 because this is the last really wonky section that we have so 101 102 103 uh, through 105 is going to sound like this so we've got something kind of weird here. Uh, starting on a two, going to a one, uh, shifting to a two on the D with a natural C behind us, and then a natural E in front of us, but then it's an E C sharp D. So we're going to be closing our hand position just a little bit um, to get everything working there. Again, that sounds like... So we only have one C... Pardon me. We only have one C sharp in that entire run. <coughs> and that is going to be at the beginning of... One, two, three, four... Uh, that's going to be at the beginning of 105. So let's work on that a couple of times, and we'll tie everything else in. So, 103, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <coughs> My apologies. Let's go ahead and do that a couple more times. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Last time, one, two, three, four, five. Okay, and then tying that into one hundred, uh, let's go ahead and do one hundred through one oh, uh, one hundred through one oh six. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> And then, um, moving on from there, let's just go ahead and finish it out to the odd tempo. Um, that will be 108, 107, 106 to the odd tempo. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Um, we do have a couple of shifts in there. In 107, keep in mind that that's C. Uh, you're shifting, so it's uh, four, open, one, one, extended to four. 
Uh, and then you just drop back to a four in 108 and then shift strings. And then again, it's a, it'll be a two in this case, but two open one, one extended to four, uh, two, one, two, one. And then we do have a retard there. So again, it'll sound like this. Let's go ahead and do 106 to the uh, tempo, and then we'll work on that retard a little bit as well. 106. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Okay. Um, let's go ahead and take a couple steps back. We'll tie in to 101 to the odd uh, tempo. One, two, three, four, five, six. Um, let's take a step back to 94. One, two, uh, 94 to the odd tempo. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Take another step back to E two. Eighty-six, eighty-seven, eighty-eight. 87, 88. Uh, I have been playing those as flats, uh, uh, and they are naturals. <laughs> those are B naturals, not B flats. My apologies. I just caught that. Um, let's go ahead and take it back to the top at 66, and then run through to the odd tempo. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Thank you. 
first page quite basically um, let me double check uh, yeah it, it looks like 108 109 110 it looks like 111 is basically the exact same as 52 53 54 55 um, actually it pretty much looks like it's the exact same thing which isn't uncommon in this style of music um, so this is basically quite literally copy-pasted from uh, the bottom of the last page onto the tail end of this. Uh, so it kind of ties everything together. Because we did have a key change in here um, in the second page of the Rondo Grazioso, which we've been working on all evening. Um, this one has a key change in it, which is why we've got those random sharps and flats. Uh, it, it's developing interest. It changes the tonality. So, um, let's go ahead and do a tempo to the end. Uh, this should be old hat. We should have this one down. Let's go ahead and uh, yeah, run it to the end. Double check and make sure we've got all that down. Pardon me. Okay, a uh, tempo to the end. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Sixty-six to the end. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 
Okay. I think we are just a little bit faster. So that's the tempo we're looking at. Uh, I have it set to 70 for the two beat. Uh, so it's basically 70 with triplets. Um, so let's go ahead and try that. Uh, 66 to the end. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> This is a hell of a piece to learn on, and it is quite fun and very rewarding once you get it down. Thank you very much, folks, and I will catch you next time.